Medium is one of those surprising things. You never know what you gain. And half the time, you gain once you leave. You know, you're here, you meet people, you socialize. Social media's killed a lot of that. You know, Medium's a chance to actually face to face with people. You know, it's really social media without, without the media. <laughs> Back to old fashioned social. I love me, Dem, because when I was a kid, I came here and it was, the world was here. All these famous people I'd heard about, Seymour Stein and um, George Greif and all these legendary characters of our industry. You saw them in the Carlton Hotel, you saw them in the Majestic, and you felt part of it. In the mid-80s, uh, Andy Taylor left Duran Duran, and Andy and I started a label called Equinox Records. So the first thing was, let's go to Medem and sell it. So uh, I came down to Medem, had a couple of records in my back pocket, uh, managed to meet Charles Kopperman and did a deal with SBK and had Equinox out, and a couple of records with Eric and A Good Good Feeling and Skin and Bones was another one I remember. And I did a publishing deal with Martin Bandier and it was suddenly we were in the record business, you know, and I was still in my 20s and, you know, if, if, if it wasn't for me then that would never have happened because it would have meant getting on the plane to the, to the States, getting on the plane here, getting on the plane there. Uh, so it was very important and very exciting times. So, yeah, me then's always been very special to me. I'm on the Artistic Accelerator Committee. Uh, and Daddy Yankee was our ambassador last year. That inspired me to put him on at Wembley Arena this year. Also last year, there was a rapper called Aiden Coker that I liked, a good kid, had a good personality, he was worked, worked the room well, so I thought he deserved a break, and I put him on Neo's UK tour. So one of the things I enjoy now about the new medium is coming down here and mentoring these artists, because in my world, you get a million demo tapes every day and artist managers hassling you and you're in the office and you're busy and you're trying to do this, that and the other. So you don't really have the time to focus and spend real quality time with young managers and young artists. So I, I enjoy taking this week out and actually hanging out with these kids and listening to what they've got to say, listening to what they're doing, listening to their points of view. I think I learn as much from them as they learn from me. I try and give them a little guidance on the, on the roadmap of the live music industry. It, it's fascinating for me to hear and to know what the young artists themselves are thinking and what their ambitions and where they want to go are. So, you know, I, I, I very much enjoy that.